Now, I have to just, you know, given my own experience back when I was in a much larger body, I went through a weight loss transformation. Now I'm postpartum, I've regained weight, but I used to have to shop in plus size sections, which was a very isolating experience, to be honest. Like I never got to shop with my friends. I recently saw somebody do um, an IG reels and they were talking about the fact that they had so many scarves collected because that was the only thing they could buy when they shopped with their friends. And I was like, oh my gosh, I had so many scarves. Like we used obviously scarves were a thing, but we bought so many accessories, earrings. I had every accessory under the books, but I couldn't find a pair of jeans for the life of me. Now my parents used to drive me to old Navy in the States because it wasn't in Canada when I was like a teenager. Isn't that wild? I had to drive to Old Navy in the States just to even go and get like a size 14 or 16 jean. Like that was in a style that wasn't made for a 30 to 40 year old woman or not having to go into stores that, you know, only dressed for, you know, older women. I was a teenager. I didn't have, I wanted to find those styles. And that made a huge difference for me just to have a store that was trendy, that had a plus size section, you know, with bought equality happening now, I think that was like my first reaction was, oh my gosh, like getting rid of the plus size section is really cool because now everything's on the same rack. You're not having to walk away from your friends or away from your family member or anybody else to go into a different section, which was often like the back corner of a store. And not to mention the price difference, because I remember when I would see something in a plus size section versus a straight size section, and it was always more. And you would ask the question, like, why is it more money? It's the same style, but it's just a bigger size. And they would always say, well, you have to pay for the extra fabric. That's on you you're the problem, right? Like it, it really did give that ownership. So as much as all of the integrated shopping experience was one thing, the price different, like the price um, equality, I think was huge for me to hear. Like it was a huge thing to be able to say that. And I think as somebody who still is in a straight size body, it gives me a place of um, shopping that I can truly share online or talk about with my peers without knowing that I'm only talking to some of my peers or I'm only sharing a link for some people or it's only going to work on some bodies. And recently I'm going through postpartum right now and I'm like eight months in, but I'm going through postpartum right now. And my body has changed drastically. And what is so difficult about a change within your body is when it makes it even harder in society that when you perhaps gain weight, I actually, I can no longer shop at many stores. That is gutting. Like it's a gutting experience. I recognize that we have so many layers to undo when it comes to diet culture and our shopping experiences. But instead of just like sliding over to the next size pair of pants, it's like, sorry, we don't actually carry your size here. You're no longer allowed to shop here. And I'm like, oh, I just, okay. Like you get so lost in the experience. 